you know you can feel that this is a dream. But now you are just standing in darkness. Your, ha your hair becoming wet and matted. Thunder rolling in now and again, making you pause and wonder. You don't notice right away. It takes a moment or two. Before you see a lightning strike once more. And you hold your breath. To see the visage of the house you grew up in. Another lightning crack strikes, and you can see it illuminate in front of you, almost daring you to come forward. In wet clothing, and nowhere else to go, you feel your feet start to go forward towards the house you despise. You gently walk closer and closer, your heart starting to hammer. You run your hand through your hair, the corner of your eye, those pleasantly rose gold locks are no longer. Instead, you have the dreary, ghost-like locks of your white hair. You see the door slowly creak open. You know this is a dream. What would you like to do? She's gonna go in. Okay. Stepping forward, you can feel your bare feet slapping the ground, still drenched as you do so. And going into a warmly lit mansion, you would think you would feel warmth, yet you feel nothing but cold as you enter. The stone-cold structure of this building was like a prison to you. Something you never really wanted to experience again. But here you are. And you know this place like the back of your hand. To the left, of course, would be the ballroom. And also your father's study. To the right the dining room, and your mother's sitting room. If you went forward, you would get to the kitchen and eventually the backyard. But also to the right was an area you despised. It was your, how your mother put it, your training room. After all, you have to be perfect in every way. Sit up straight. Do it again. <laughs> you, 
You call that playing a piano? Again. Whoosh! You can hear the crack of a switch against the top of your hands as you remember wanting to pull away. And for a moment, you don't want to move until you hear the soft sobbing of someone from that corner. What would you like to do? It's gonna go towards the sobbing. Going towards the sobbing. All right. A smaller version of yourself sitting in front of a grand piano. Prim, proper, beautiful white dress coupled with your white hair pulled back in a pristine, beautiful updo. Bows and all. Another woman, around the same size as you, a little bit taller, refined. Arms crossed, a long, fine stick in her hand. You can see your small little hands go over the piano. And you again go in. Trying to put together Claire de Lune before you make one mistake. Whoosh! Again. All right, you go again. So you start to, you're scared to, whoosh, again. You have a recital in four days, and this is how well you're doing? Uh, Cor Lafort. Don't disappoint your father and I. We put a lot of money and effort into getting you trained. Do you know how much he spent on you? And you're showing this kind of gratitude towards him? Absolutely a waste. <sighs> You have your etiquette classes in 20 minutes. Go get on your heels, and it better be the correct heels this time, young lady. You see the woman. Agnes. Leave the room. Her long, silvery white hair flowing behind her as she goes. And you, slowly crasping your little hands, the red marks still across each one, reminders of each mistake, each fumble. Because in your eyes, you were perfectly fine. It was a mistake. You were what? Seven? Eight? Mm. 
And you can't help but start feeling the tears brimming your eyes as it does the child variation of her. Silently, sniffles in between. What would you like to do? Just to clarify, right? mm -hmm. Nick is in her dream seeing herself but a younger version, yes. Mm hmm Okay. So. What she would probably do is walk over to her baby self. Mm hmm And do one of these. Mm hmm To see if she can... Like, away. You are able to touch and force it away. She, you slowly look up at your older self, sniffle. I'm sorry, you didn't know I had a new teacher today. You didn't know you were early. I'm so sorry. Let me go get ready. I know I'm short as it is. You're super That's small. Cool. So remember when Landry was like a little bit smaller? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're super small. Okay. So I was going to say she probably like make sure that they're eye level and like grab her hands. <laughs> She's going to be like you don't have to get ready for anything. And it's just gonna like, kind of like this on the little hands. You see her kind of shrink back because you know that you're not used to comfort like this. Mm -hmm. You weren't coddled. You weren't trying, you were never told anything would be okay. You were not coddled. You were not loved in that way. Being loved is foreign to you. And you see her kind of shrink back from the tender touch, almost scared, as if that was a prelude to a hit. You see her... Pull back. Still looking at you, though. So... <laughs> She's gonna... She's not going to talk like her normal voice. She's going to mm -hmm. be like, a little softer. Mm -hmm. She's going to be like... None of this matters. None of it matters, but... Mm, mother said that... I mean, I'm an investment. I'm the reason how our family will be able to make fortunes in the future. I'm the whole reason why I'm doing all this. I'm I'm the reason for everything. I'm the reason if things are bad. I'm the reason if things are going well. And even if things are going well, I'm still at fault in some way. Just gonna continue like with the the thing and she's mm -hmm. like none of it is on you you can do what you want they're not always right <sighs> but if I say no 
I'll get in trouble again. Um... She's probably going to respond to that by saying some things are worth getting into a little trouble for. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? <sighs> you see, kind of like she starts to like Go back and forth a little bit, kind of confused on what you're kind of saying to her. But if I get in trouble, then I could be at fault why the family doesn't do well. I don't want them to be mad at me. But aren't they always mad anyways? Maybe if I actually make them proud, they won't be. I think they're just looking for someone to blame. And you're a child. It's not your fault. You see her lower her head and... Her eyes start to water some more. Hearing it's not your fault seems to have gotten to her, gotten to you. Because for years, they blamed everything on you. You were never good enough. You were never just so. Everything was your fault. Is it really not my fault? It never was. Then why do they hate me? I don't have an answer for that. But more than likely, they probably hate themselves. I don't like it here. I just want to leave. probably going to cautiously mm -hmm. go up to give her a hug mm -hmm. and be like, and you will. I'm like, I know it. Just her. Roll a d20 for me. 17. Okay. You go in for a hug and you can feel your younger self meld into you a little bit and you come back and you have swapped locations you are now sitting on the piano but as your older self in your current clothing with your current hair and you look over to the piano and there is a thick layer of dust untouched for years. The door is closed nice and tight and it's still and stagnant in this room.
The Rock, I don't know what we're gonna do. We've been looking high and low for her. And we're now we're in trouble? <laughs> if we ever find her again... I'll kill her myself. You don't mean that, Agnes. Yes, she's gone off on her own. It's been, what, three, four years? <laughs> Your idea of time is ridiculous. It's been far longer. She's, what, 20-something now by now? <sighs> and now we have the police and military looking around our property because they found a goddamn body of Psyche? Do you know that Eris is pulling everything apart? Right now, trying to find her, and partly blaming us! Good thing we still had her as a scapegoat to place the blame! We just have to deal with it now. She didn't want us. Besides, you have a new one coming along the way. And they're starting to become quite, well... Better than what we expected from the first. After all, if you can't fix one, you can create another one. No problem there. Ugh. Do you really think I will do well in prison? You will do well in prison? It's nothing we can't fix with some money in their pockets. Absolutely ridiculous. You are the man I married. Absolutely worthless, you are. You know, my dowry should have been at least quadruple what you actually got. <laughs> the heir to the mining company, Lafort. Hmm. If it weren't for those goddamn arrows that have been coming around, we'd have a lot more money. But they've been raiding each of our mines. Agnes, you're giving me a headache. I'm giving you a headache. Me. I have done everything for this family. You just get to sit in your little fancy chair and sign off on contracts that I put together. Hmm. Once our son is born, then I know Who's going to really be in charge? Because I'm going to make sure that he will follow everything I say. Unlike that wretched core of ours. Is she really even ours anymore? <laughs> oh, believe me, she will never not be mine. I gave birth to her. She owes me her entire life. <laughs> and she'll give me it when I ask for it. She knows. Mother knows best, after all. You can hear this through the doorway that has been closed. What would you like to do? She's going to start haphazardly playing on the piano.
Okay. You hear silence. Fill the mansion as you are going at it. Ding, 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 ding. Horrible rendition of Claire de Lune that you were forced to play over and over and over and over. And you can hear a as the door opens. But no one comes in and no one comes out. What would you like to do? She's probably going to go walk her out the door. Mm -hmm. You exit and you expect yourself to go into that main hallway. But instead, You're in darkness, yet again. And you can hear in the distance another crack of thunder. <laughs> and you can feel the rain coming down upon you once more. Your outfit starting to become drenched and wet. Your hair again becoming wet. Your curls starting to curl a little bit more underneath that. But looking forward, all you see in the distance is fire. And as you slowly get closer and closer, you again are in front of the mansion that you had lived your life and it's in flames. A silhouette of two people are out front, one cradling their belly, the other one on their hands and knees. And they both seem to be yelling at each other in anger. You can feel footsteps walking close and behind you before stopping at your side. You slowly turn and look. To your side, is a young man with reddish hair, pulled back any ponytail, a scar across his face, slightly tan, a hood. Little image of a bow and arrow on his side. Serves them right, don't you think? Absolutely. Well, as you say, you also hear someone else speak at the same time. It's been a long time coming for them. Too bad she missed it. I think she's perfectly fine missing it. 
Just the fact that it's done is what's important. Come on. We have things to do. Levy, come on. And you can see the two figures leave your side. You find yourself walking forward towards where both of them are, yelling, screaming at each other. This is your fault, Brock. <laughs> Agnes, this is not the time. We have nothing left. <laughs> nothing left. Beautiful. Great. You have nothing left. What do you mean? I have nothing left. You are my wife. <laughs> no. You see, I divorced you months ago. You even signed the paperwork that I sit on your desk. So you and I, honey, aren't anything. I'm a diamond hearst again. My son and I are going to go back to my parents. Okay. And everything that was in your bank account. Oh, well. <laughs> you can double check. It's all gone. You win some, you lose some, honey. Maybe next time use your own brain for once. Hmm. You always weren't the brightest. Oh. And one more thing. I got word recently from one of our little, hmm, hires that we did. She's making her rounds. Yeah. Last spotted in, uh, Albeed. Getting a drink. I'm having people keep an eye out for her still. And once we find her, well, maybe then I can clear at least my name. And Eros will calm the fuck down. And you see her turn and march away from your father as he is pounding the ground and just shouting into the abyss. Your mother trudging away, her long silvery white hair matted against her. And you see him slowly get up from the ground, covered in mud, his always pristine outfit, always so well put together, disheveled and just dis destroyed. And you can see that glint of his bright emerald eyes look back directly at you. you can't help but smile. And then you wake up. Your hair slightly damp. You can hear the low snoring of Bim in the corner. Kath propped up a little bit against the side of the hut. A teacup to your side. Empty.
Lunalor, in the corner, curled up in a little ball. And Asa, wide awake, with a candle, writing into a journal. You up for your watch? Time already. Yeah, should be about that time. I think that it's you and Venry doing a watch together. Sounds fun, I guess. Are you all right? <laughs> you look like you're sweating massively. You're a little bit damp, dear. She kind of giggles at that. It's a funny word to hurt. Um, so be like, mm, I had a real weird um dream, I guess. Oh, did you get sucked into uh, the dreamland, Chazelle? Seems that seems to be a common thing that everyone's going through. I mean, I didn't see Zell. Oh? No, I actually saw a few things. Were they good? At least? She's gonna consider it for a second and she's gonna be like, I guess it depends who you ask. Like, the first part was great. All right. I guess it wouldn't be a good dream if you asked my parents. Family drama, then? Uh, well, you know. Always. I know I'm not in this. The inkling that, um, yeah. That does she get the inkling that any of that was real at all, or it was just a dream? Roll a intelligence. Anyone. You get the feeling that the first part definitely was a dream. You talking to yourself was definitely a dream. But that last part, there's a little bit of truth in it, but you're not sure quite if everything is lining up to be the actual truth. You won't be able to know unless you're able to confirm. But in your heart, you feel that it is. Especially since you're slightly wet, so you're, you're a little bit damp. <laughs> But you know once you go outside in the heat that there is, that's going to just dissipate off you real fast. Yeah. However, there may be some hair maintenance that needs to go on. Yeah, so she's just going to be like, you know, we can only hope. That it's real eventually but that's why they're dreams right true dreams are normally aspects that we desire or visions of what we wish to become or have become or give us caution to other things as well
just gonna like do the shrug thing. No, I think it's more of how you interpret it. I suppose so. He kind of nods to you and goes back down and you see him continuing continuing to write something a little bit. Just pointing down at him. Slowly get up. Like get up, yeah. Mm -hmm. and start walking out of the hut. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to pause with you. And we are going to go to a little bit before you have woken up. Hey, Sam. You said you're using mislead, correct? Can you tell me what that does again? Sam, Sam? Sam? God damn it, I keep putting it on you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh... It, it, it says you become invisible at the same time that an illusory double of you appears where you are standing. Mm -hmm. The double lasts for the duration of the spell, which is an hour. Okay. Um, but the invisibility ends if you attack or cast a spell. You can use your action to move your illusory double up to twice your speed and make gesture, speak, and behave in whatever way you choose. Okay. You can see through its eyes and hear through its ears as if you were located where it is. Each year turns as a bonus action. You can switch from using it, you, you, it, it senses to yours, but that, yeah, that doesn't really. Okay. So I would say that's probably more of an arcane check than a perception check. Especially if you technically have it moved from that location for Venery. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's a deception. It's a deception. Okay. So. I get. Well, at least in the stats, it lists it as deception. A deception. Okay. So I don't know what you would have to. Yeah. Because so technically he could roll for either deception. Um. Or he could do... It's an illusion spell. Illusion, yeah. I think. I would say probably Arcana, just to verify it is a spell. Okay, I'm trying to look at my other illusion spells. Yeah, to, um, see what the other options what, are. Because they normally use a, a thing to see if... You can see through Oops. Well, he rolled an 18 naturally, so it's 18 plus whatever the fuck he's going to be doing it for. Okay, so it looks like illusion spells are investigations. Okay. Um, so that's a... Well, so that's a 32 for Venry. But he is invisible, so I'm not really sure what he's looking yeah. at. Yeah. Well, he'd be looking at your doppelganger. Who's sitting on the floor. Who's sitting on the floor, yeah. Just to verify, he's still good? He's still there? Okay. <laughs> Where's the gnome? The gnome is over there? Okay. Like, uh... He's basically trying to just make sure that everyone is around where they need to be. So I'd say probably it's his perception. It, yeah, it might, like... Regardless, yeah, yeah he's not really looking through the illusion. He's just trying to make sure people are there. Yeah. So he definitely sees that you have a doppelganger there, but he's not fully registering that it's a doppelganger. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, so he, like, he, he sees 
it is there. And he goes, all right. Did I, did I post the picture I drew of Noctis? I don't remember. I think you did. Ben Ray's just keeping tabs of where uh, everyone is at the moment. Um... Okay, he knows where Noctis's doppel is. He knows where Chang is. Chang hasn't really left. Yep, he is full aware that Key is now below him on the tree. Okay, perfect. Just trying to see where... My man's knows where everyone's at. Um, so, Key, as you come back from letting it go into the air, how are you going to come back to the tree? Are you just slumping against the side? Or are you just sitting down? Um, so she's probably still holding, because I haven't decided where she's going to put that ribbon yet. Mm -hmm. so she's probably still holding on to it. Um, and she's basically kind of like, that's more so what she's focusing on in the current moment. So it's like, she's kind of like, she's walking back to the tree, but she's not focusing on climbing up the tree. Um, okay. So basically what she does is she's kind of doing that thing where she's just like looking down and walking. And when she gets to the tree, um, she probably just kind of like stops and stands mm -hmm. there. Okay. Okay. Um, you can hear the creaking of the branches above. Before you hear <gasps> as Venry falls from the tree, um, he rolled a net one. Um, so he falls from the tree flat on his butt and he's like right in front of you and he's just like, oh, jeez. <sighs> Hopefully, I didn't damage my ass. Fuck. He's gonna, like, that, that would have snapped her out of her, like... Yeah. And it, 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 was, it was beautiful. Was natural one. And so she's going to... Um, she's going to basically, like, <laughs> look at him and be like, Are you okay? He goes... No, it fucking hurts. Oh shit. All right, I need. Mm, give me a hand. She's like watching him, and then she'll just kind of like reach out. Oh, yeah, he's gonna have you help him get up because mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking falling on your ass when you're falling from a tree—that fucking hurts, man. That hurts. Let's see, um, Tasha, roll a d6 for me. Two. Two, <laughs> okay. You see him kind of just like, oh, damn it. Mm. And he's gonna, after, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, holding his butt for a moment and, like, kind of just, like, easing off the pain, you see him kind of walk up to you, kiss your forehead, and go, You did so good, love. Oh, that really hurt. <sighs> and Key's just gonna kind of, like, <laughs> just wait. For him for a second to come, yeah. come, come down, down from down. his yeah, from his He's like so dramatic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, and that's a high tree. He was high up there. Okay. Maybe. She doesn't say that, but you know. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's gonna kind of just like 
wait a second, and then she um, looks down at that ribbon, and then she's gonna say, um, <laughs> yeah, she's like staring at this this ribbon, and then she's gonna glance back up at him and be like, yeah, okay, uh, Mr. Eaves Dropper, I know you're listening. Me? Listen? No, not at all. You not having a conversation in a public area? Not at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was very sweet of you, though. Is that what it brought back? It's gonna motion towards the the ribbon. Mm -hmm. She's gonna show it to him, and like if he takes it, she'll let him take yeah, it. Yeah, he's not gonna it. take it. He's just gonna slightly like run his hand through it and just kind of, kind of do the whole like let it kind of go over his hand so he can look at the names. Mm -hmm. And you see him kind of go, rest in peace. And before letting it flutter out of his grasp. You should probably sleep, love. It's getting really late, and it's almost to the second watch, and you have not closed your eyes. I can't. Can't or don't want to. Or mix both. Yeah, a little bit of both, I guess. All right. You see him kind of slowly ease himself onto the base of the tree, and he pats next to the tree. She's, like, hesitant for a second. She, like, lifts a brow, but then she's just gonna sit next to him. She's gonna be like... I was expecting you to put up a fight against that. Well, as someone who barely sleeps, because I don't necessarily need it, I know that sometimes when you are in your headspace, as you do quite often, it's hard. And it's not like I can very well command you to go to sleep, because uh, elves are resistant to such charms. Though, believe me, I have thought about it a few times. To me? In general, to almost everyone here. Do you know how many people need sleep in this group? Yeah, every single one of us. Yeah, and no one wants to sleep. Everyone is just... Can you blame us? No, but at the same time, in order for you... You have to sleep in order to actually function correctly. I mean, yes, but also every time each of us seems to try to sleep, some fucking thing happens where either we're transported to some kind of location and mm -hmm. we wake up and fucking Noctis woke up one time from a dream that he thought that he was trapped in for who knows how long and he had gashes all over his body and I've had dreams that have made it just... I know. But if someone, he calls out into the universe, follows their jobs and makes sure that our loved ones here do not have bad dreams, then maybe it won't be so bad. That seems like a very personal accusation. Well, they are the vassal of, basically, dreams, so they're kind of in charge of it. Mm-hmm, but do you know how many people dream? And if it's one person handling 
all of those dreams. Do you really what? think he's doing it alone? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what that's like. I don't know that process. Yeah, no. <sighs> What's the old saying that uh, your mum used to say about kings and their courts? A king is the head, but the court is what actually functions the ruling of the kingdom or something of that sort. It's kind of like the idea of it takes a village to raise a child sort of thing. Kind of like your group if you think about it. Not one of you is in charge of saving the world, but all of you are together. Doesn't really make it easier though. No. Oh, do you want to see something I recently did? I came up with a good one. You see him dig into his uh, book and he starts flipping through a few pages. Um, and he pauses and you see he's like, looks at you, like, big ol' smile. And he goes, alright. Put your hand on my hand. Right on top. And you see he put his hand right on top of the image. <laughs> She'll do it too. <laughs> goes. Excellent. Now I want you to close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I want you to focus on an image in your head. Any image you want. It can be an item. It can be a moment. It can be an animal, if you wish it to be. It can be absolutely anything. Do you have that image in your head? Like, like a memory? I just... Just think of, a, think of a thing. Think of an item. It can be connected to a memory, if you wish it to be. Okay. Okay. Now, do you have that item in your head? How it touches, yeah. how it feels, how it smells. Just think of every little bit of detail you can about it. Okay. Now, I want you to focus in your mind. And I want you to start feeling every bit of your own body. Feel the energy flowing through it, like when you excel a breath, you can feel it in your lungs first before it goes up, through, and out. I want you to focus on an energy in your throat, and I want you to push that energy down to your core, next to your heart. Focus on your heartbeat next, the rhythm it makes. Are you doing that? Trying to. You can, can you feel the pulses of the heartbeat, just the bump, 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 and he's doing it with the actual motion of like your heart actually, bump, 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 bump. Bum, bum. And I want you to extend that feeling outward towards your hand on top of mine. Keep that image of that item in your head. Just keep it there. Do you feel that energy in your hand slowly dispersing to your fingertips? Like you can almost feel all the different nerve endings of every bit of you. Do 
Do you feel it? Does she feel it? <laughs> I'm gonna have you roll a d20 for me. Okay, is would this be included with the advantage or is this just a- This is with advantage. Okay. Uh, 17. 17. And then what's your arcana modifier? Oh, that's a good question. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, three, so it would be a dirty mm -hmm. 20. Okay. Okay. So you excel and you feel your hand leave his like he pulls his hand away from un under yours and he goes focus on that energy and focus on that image in your head i want you to describe to me what you're thinking about <laughs> um so just for for my purpose Mm hmm. Um, does he just want to know, like, the object, or does he want to know, like. He wants to know the object that you're thinking about. Okay, she's thinking about Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> Mr. Snuggles! <laughs> the fucking bear! Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you start to describe the, the bear with its button eyes and. The nose that had a few strings that were slightly undone because it was well loved, and the big bow tie it had on. And he goes, All right, now that energy that you feel at your fingertips, I want you to release it underneath the palm of your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna have you roll. One more d20 for me. Just a d20. One as in just, no advantage? Or no advantage. This is just okay. just is just for me to see how flary I'm going to go. This is, that's, a, that's an 18. So. Okay. <laughs> so, as you feel that release, you feel a shifting in your body which you felt before once in a while when like you've casted other spells like hunter's mark and pass without a trace you felt these rushes through your body once in a while but it's never as intense as this is and you pause for a moment And you open your eyes and describe to me what the magic looks like as you create an illusionary variation in a small little thing of this teddy bear. Um, well, I've always kind of imagined keys, I guess, magic kind of being like, um, like, like this kind of green mm -hmm. like bright but within the center it's that kind of um almost white mm -hmm. coloring um and then i know that when she did the bird in the dust of thing it was like um kind of like vines like twisty vines and stuff mm -hmm. and with like almost like wood whittling i guess mm -hmm. that's her like form of crafting mm -hmm. um so i kind of i guess i would kind of like if it if because he had her like describe the thing and since she also writes so i feel like she probably uses like combination of like the wood thing and the words to... mm -hmm. so you get to see the little the swirls of these little words just and then the swirl of that greenish magic with the little curls of wood floating off and he goes huh look at that it's interesting, Kay. You did that all on your own. Not all on my own. 
I didn't give you any of my power, I just told you how to feel it more. You've always had capabilities in you. You've always had things that you've been able to do that no one else has been able to do. But there are certain things you are quite good at, Ki. And when you put your mind to it, and you let yourself relax a little bit, look at the beauty that you are able to create. Have faith in the things that you can do. Because those are going to be the strongest assets that you have. And these, these small wins like this, can help put one's mind at ease. Because you have the power to do it. You have the capabilities. It's hard to admit when we are scared or have faults in certain things. Or if you're not an amazing magician like others. But, with time and practice, and allowing those around you to give you a helping hand, look at what you're able to make. Mr. Snuggles. Still have no idea what that thing was. Hmm. Someday. Unless he's finally disintegrated into the ground. Uh, you know, I hope not, because I kind of told Ari that I would actually find it. Mm. I don't but... think it's going to last that long out into the wilderness as it was. Somewhere out there. Maybe you can just make one handmade by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could whittle pieces from it. Make her a bear that is one of a kind. Like you. You can shake I'm... your head all you want at me, Kilian. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Mm. It was actually me shaking my head at myself because mm. I was, I'm trying really hard not to turn it around and tell you that the same price to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. It does. Mm hmm. It's just, I. <sighs> You I don't know. Mm, do you not know? I really don't. I don't know what I was going to say. Ah, I left her speechless once again. No. Uh. No. No. You did not. I did not. think I definitely did. <laughs> Stop it. You see him take his, his uh, little thing away. And the page that he did it, he opened it to, you didn't see right away what he had opened it to, it was just a drawing of you. 
it wasn't a spell or anything under it, so the magic truly came to just you. You used yourself for your own magic. <laughs> So she saw that that's oh yeah oh yeah and it's it's like a it's a really cute little sketch of like her asleep <laughs> next to him that he's driven he's drawn and he's just like <laughs> and he puts it away she's gonna just like shake her head a little bit and she's gonna be like you were sneak hmm that's what you love about me though isn't it There's a lot of things I love about you. Mm. Do you mind telling me what those that lovely list is? You want this? Do you actually want to know? Yeah, no, I love flattery. Who doesn't? Take a bite of this first. Um, he's kind of showing you one of the scones. He'd also oh, pilfered okay. one. Um, <laughs> um, but you can see that between it, he is slathered like a jelly in between it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's clever dragging her um <laughs> yeah i knew it i knew it um she's she's gonna kind of she'll she'll take it um, okay you see him he kind of licks his fingers from like the crumbs and stuff um it is you when you when you do bite into it it's chamomile and elderberry oh. which is a natural concoction that helps people sleep <laughs> so <laughs> So I, I feel like he would probably know that, um, given her knowledge of certain things, mm -hmm. uh, like berries and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so she, if she recognizes that taste, she's probably just going to give him a look. Well, it's good. Like I said, you're a sneak. Not really. If the person I'm assisting knows things, I just eat it. <clears throat> if I eat this, you're not going to get the list. <laughs> Another day then. Eat it. I'd rather my love to be fully rested for the night, day, whatever this is going to be, than not. I need you to be at your 100% so that I can be at my 100%. Is that how this works? I mean how work works. I want to make sure that you're in tip-top shape and healthy. Is that such a horrible thing for a fiancé to have? Is that so horrible of me to wish you health in your life? No. Hmm? It's just that you're stalling <laughs> i'm not stalling i am not stalling I'm not stalling <laughs> don't look at me like that stop it stop stop like what this is my face do you not do you not like my face? Oh I love your face. Oh. Don't even don't the, Good. The... I knew it. Stop it. Don't <laughs> she's gonna like take it up and take a bite of the thing. She'll be like happy. 
Mmm. Ecstatic. Overjoyed. Super happy. What are other words to describe happy? Hmm. Lucky. Delighted. Jovial. I like that word, jovial. Now you're giving me a list. Yeah, because you said you wouldn't give me your list, so I'm going to give you a list of words of happy. I didn't say I wasn't going to give you the list. I just said that it wouldn't happen if I ate this because it'll put me to sleep. Yeah. In time, it's not like it's going to be a drug that's going to make you pass out in like two point seconds. It's not like a charm. <laughs> Which you would be resistant against anyway. Oh no. Hmm. <sighs> How are we going to make the kids go to sleep? Saved. <laughs> she like, she like stops for a second and then she's gonna like look down and she is blushing a little bit. She's gonna be like, so you've thought about that? About helping all the different kids that I wanted to help out. <laughs> yes. Or are you saying something a little bit more specific, love? Um, I was implying what you were implying. I don't think so, because the fluctuation in your voice no. goes up when you are slightly lying or no, embarrassed about something. It's so... Doesn't go up. No, absolutely not. I may have thought about it once in a while. How's that scone? Delicious. Should probably eat the whole thing. I will. Hmm. Will. Hmm. I've been processing a few things also. If I can get your two cents in. Headphones. Well, not really headphones. The earpieces that I made everyone. Well, not everyone. Do you think I should finally make some for the rest of the lot? <laughs> you sound so hesitant. I personally liked the idea of it as a way to help all of you lot to try and talk to each other a little bit more. Which seems to be somewhat the case, but not quite the case that I intended in the first place. I mean, strategically, it would make sense for everyone to have some. Yeah, question is... What design do I give them? He pulls out his sketchbook again. I have three ideas for Bim. I have no ideas for Arsa. I already know exactly what I'm going to do for Luna Law. And then Kath, well, he is your brother. So you might have an idea. I was also going to ask Phoenix if she has an idea of what kind of symbolization kind of goes with him, but I know he likes the color yellow, which God knows why.
You're telling me that you don't know what to do for Cap? I have an idea, but I would like a little bit of you in the design. Make it more personal. Use your family. I've always thought of him Don't tell him I'm saying this. <laughs> she just like gives <laughs> bit <Ray> a look. <laughs> um and she's gonna be like You know how when there's a group of deer and generally there's the one who kind of just like overlooks everyone and takes care of the stag of the group. Mm -hmm. I've always associated him with a stag. <laughs> the one with the huge ass atlas? <laughs> yes. Alright. But more so stag. because they will... There's just that sense of protection, I guess, and that loyalty. And I don't know if anyone else would agree that that's what he is, but that's just always kind of how I saw him in my mind. King of the forest, I believe, is what the stags are normally referred to as. I don't know. That's why you can't tell him, because he'll do something like that, and then he'll get... <sighs> ego about it. Your brother, an ego. What are you talking about? He See, wouldn't. Right he wouldn't from. learned it from no. Technically, he learned it from your father. He's quite the ego man. You gonna blame my father? I mean, have you met your father? No, never. No, never, never, never once, never once ever met your father. Yeah, no. Man, he loved to talk about himself so much. But you know what he liked to talk about more? His wife. Mm hmm. I'm waiting to see once he starts talking about someone else a lot more, too. <laughs> He's gonna kind of shift a little bit and, um... She... Doesn't look like she's like upset with the idea of mm -hmm. that kind of thing, mm -hmm. but she does kind of look like she's like thinking about something. Like, mm -hmm. like a thought came into her mind, and um, she's not looking playful about it. It's gonna go key. Okay. What's the face? I don't know how to talk to either of them about that. Weren't you the one encouraging it in the first place? Yes, but... Hang on. Because... I'm glad that the two of them... can have each other. Mm -hmm. But they have found some kind of connection friendship even and just knowing that the two of them have probably gone through something somewhat similar with the whole dying and coming back thing. Mm-hmm.
to kill. I didn't tell you everything that that creature said to me. What do you mean? It's not just... It's not just you that I'm worried about leaving me. Are you worried about your brother leaving you, Phoenix leaving you, or them both leaving you? It is a little bit of both, but there's been a couple times when I could have really had my brother there. I needed my brother, but he was with her instead. And I'm trying to not be upset about it. But I guess I'm also kind of lying to myself to say it doesn't hurt. Is there a specific time you're talking about, love? I don't know where he was after Ari died. I I don't I don't know if he was with her during that time that I didn't see him. I didn't see anyone. And then the other time, I guess, it's been a couple times that I've done what I always do, just run away, and I know maybe it's unfair for me to just expect him to come after me, but maybe a part of me also... Expects it? No, I just wish that he would. I understand you're upset about it. You have every right to be upset, but you also can't expect him to know without you telling him. That whole ordeal was hard for all of us. I know it was, and that's why I let... This is why I let you be with Ari. When I thought you were so mad at me anyways, weird. <sighs> you know this. When you lose people or come close to loss, all rationale goes out the door. Emotion, logical speed thinking, anything of that sort is gone. Because that's part of the grieving process. There is anger, there is sorrow, there is bargaining, there is everything.
Everyone grieves in their own way. And even though she did not die, she could have. And those reactions are still valid. However, you can be angry at people, but you can't be angry if you don't let them know that you're upset. We aren't mind readers, love. Some people really lack the skills to understand body language, tone of voice, everything. Uh, Key's gonna kind of like shift a little bit and then she's gonna look up at him and she's gonna say I need you to tell me something. All right. What do you need to know? That day that she died. It felt like you were so ready to just leave because of you being upset about that. And I understand. <laughs> Were you so ready to just walk away from me? I need you to tell me the truth, please. Key. I was seconds to becoming what you fear. I understood his every action, every reasoning, everything. I'm not going to lie to you, love. I was. But just as quick as those thoughts came into my head, I knew they weren't right. They weren't me. So yes, I could have, but I chose not to. I chose to stay. I chose you over a gut feeling, a gut urge. Is that what you wanted to know? Please. But I don't, that's why I keep telling you I don't. 
I don't... I've never seen you as that. You may not have, but I have seen myself. It doesn't matter what you think of me. It's how I think of myself. You may think the world of me, but unless I don't think of the world of myself in a good light, that I'm not. I love that you love me, that you see me in the way that you do, that you see something worthwhile in me. There are days that I actually agree with you, and there are days that I do not. I'm only mortal. Feelings are complex. There's days that I do wish I would have chosen a different route. Are those that I'm content where I'm at, happy what I've chosen. I love everything that you love about me. Because that helps me keep grounded. And it gives me an idea of what I could be in someone else's eyes. And I don't think I'll ever be able to change that thought process on my own. There'll be days that I'll have shitty days. There'll be days that I'm great and, you know, as I am. But this is the life of a mortal life. There are good days and there are bad days. I could have chosen to go down that path, and I did not. Sometimes I still wonder. What if I did? Because there is an allure about it. No one wants to be, feel powerless and weak. Mm, yes, I know. But there are days that I do. Just as you also feel sometimes about yourself. That you are weak or not able to do other things like other, uh, other people in your group. There are days that I also feel the same. I try to do what you do for me, and I can't. I don't know how. Love, I'm not asking you to actively do that sort of no, thing. No, you're not, but I feel like I have to. He's going to take your hands and, like, pull you close, and he's going to look at you and go, You don't have to actively try to do that for me, love. Because you do it without even knowing. You do it naturally. Key. As long as you are with me and you try your best. That's all I want. I want to be able to wake up in the morning. Look over at you. And know that the day will be okay. That's all I need. You don't have to take on the weight of my life on your own shoulders. You don't have to take in all of my emotions. 
Because love, that will destroy you. I know you want to. I know you want to help. I know you want to do everything you can to make me feel how you perceive me. But I'm like a river. I form my own path, no matter which way things go. He's gonna just slowly bring her into him and like kind of cradle her a little bit. She's gonna um, stay there for a second, but then she doesn't like pull away. Mm -hmm. She is going to um, say, I had a dream. And I, I, I know I told you about one part of it, and I need to stop doing this, but I just tell you one part of things. Mm. I'm just scared of upsetting you. I know I told you about how I had a dream about a happy future that we could have. Mm -hmm. But then there was another part of that dream and I don't know if this was a dream about me or about happened to someone else. Um, she's applying the other bit. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and she's gonna say, that there was something that happened where you were so angry. Because Kirith and Ari both died. But do you blame me? And you also had something about going back and fixing things, which is why I'm not sure if it was maybe showing me what might have happened in a different timeline but it's not helping me In this dream, you said I blamed you. This version of me blamed you. For Arya's death and Kyrus. Key, Arya's not dead. And we may still have a chance to save Kirith. So whatever you saw isn't us. If anything, it was a warning of what happened to maybe that other variation. 
Maybe like giving you something to combat them. I didn't think it was real, if that's what you mean. I just, I'm not, I, I don't mean that I'm thinking that that's what could happen with us. But yet this, into this dream has you doubting? I'm just I'm scared because when when Ari did die, yes, I was scared that I would lose you then. It looked like I was. And I should have told you earlier because now what you're telling me that you chose not to. I know you chose not to, and I... I'm just trying to not have everyone leave me. You're the only one who hasn't. Because even if Cap is back, and even if Ari is back, and Phoenix, they still died, and it still fucked me up. And my parents knew what was going to fucking happen, and they chose to leave too. I'm trying so hard not to just sit here and wait for everyone else to just fucking leave. But it's just starting to look like a pattern at this point. When I was a child, I had a rabbit. I loved that rabbit so much, but I was scared my father would do something to that rabbit. So I took that rabbit with me everywhere. I held it close. I didn't let it go off and do anything on its own. I was always there taking care of it constantly. Because I was scared it would then leave me alone with him. However, the more I try to keep it with me in force, the more it tried to struggle and go away. At one point, it finally leapt out of my arms and ran. If I had just taken care of it and let it be by my side, I'm pretty sure it would have stayed. I know you're scared of losing everyone. But the more you try to grasp onto them like they are your last strands of hope, you may end up choking them 
and making them want to flee. I know you're scared of being left behind. But sometimes... You have to be willing to let them leave because then they'll come back. You won't be alone. Not as long as you cherish and love the ones around you. If they leave, they leave, Key. But when it comes to death, unfortunately, we can't We can't drive ourselves mad over what ifs. Sometimes I forget how young you are and how much you've gone through. Many people will come and go in your life, Key. You just have to cherish them while they're here. But not to the point where they want to go away. There's a beautiful balance of keeping those close to you. Don't be distant, but don't be overbearing, be understanding. Let them know how you're feeling. Let them know that you're scared of them going away. And you could probably say that to them millions and millions of times, but you're still going to have that fear. And unfortunately, I can't help you without just reassuring you that I am here. You have always been surrounded by family, by loved ones. You had never experienced all that trauma and shock until the attack. So I know that for you, with this, it's very hard. But I'm going to be somewhat harsh right now with you, Kilian. And I know this might make you cry or make you even more sad. The people you are here with now, you are all in a grandiose adventure. <laughs> you all are putting your lives at risk. So death among any of them is risk. And it is a ghost that is hanging above everyone's head.
It is a uncomfortable reality. You and I, Kath, Phoenix, Chang, Noctis, Bim, and Asa. Any one of us could be killed. And not just once. And that is because we are on this risky, risky journey. The fear that you have of being left behind It won't go away. I can say all the most comforting words to you as I possibly can. But it won't go away. I will try to be here for you. I will try to help you through anything that you are going through. That ring around your neck, that is my oath and promise to you. I'm sorry you don't have comforting words when it comes to this. Unfortunately, it's an undeniable fact that can and possibly could happen. I'm so sorry, love. He's gonna reach out and like try to move some of the tears from your eyes. Um she's she's going to let him do that yeah i have the text okay i wrote down stuff um mm -hmm. brain so mm -hmm. <sighs> okay that's what it was um <laughs> So, he is going to be quiet for a little bit, and then she just kind of, like, adjusts, and she's going to look at him, and she's going to say, I just wish there was a way that I could show you. What that creature looked like, and what... It said to me, I wish I could show you, but I don't want you to have to see it to know. Do you remember that spell I sent you? Well, helped you with. I don't, I don't want to create it because what if I do and then it just... What I taught you was minor illusion. It only stays around for a little bit. And you can make 
small little bits of it. Not too big. If you want to show me, you can. I've been from the hells and back already. I've seen monstrous things. Hell. I even got to witness <laughs> that other variation. From afar, but still. And that, by far, was the most terrifying thing I've seen in my life. Honestly, um, don't take this the wrong way, but I feel like you might be the only one who can understand right now kind of what it feels like. I know it's not quite the same thing, but Chang tried to tell me that they all understood what I was trying to tell them, and I was trying to warn them, and... Maybe they kind of understood, but I don't think. I don't think they can understand. Why don't you think they can? Because they haven't actually experienced it? Yes. Who says they haven't, Key? Because no one said anything when I was talking about it no one everyone no one even knew what it was it's not necessarily the creature it's the idea behind that creature no i know that i that's not what i mean i mean having to f physically fight yourself or a variation of yourself and not being strong enough To be fair, that's not something they have to experience to imagine. Especially when you get to see what happens to someone when they do. the fact that for most of them they're probably just thinking that it's another thing that I'm that you're do you really okay. think your friends think that lonely of you yes I do I do. I just... This is what I mean. This is what I mean. I wish that I could show you... Maybe what that creature looks like, but also I wish I could just... I don't know how... To make it to where I can say what's going on up here. <laughs> Right? I don't know. There's a part of me that knows it's not fucking true and that I'm just... overreacting to things. But there's the other part that doesn't know how to combat that. Um, similar to how I wasn't strong enough to physically fight myself, I'm not strong enough to fight. I don't 
don't know what to do because I try to ask for help, but then I get told that my emotions are a liability. And some of them are so quick to point out the fact that my emotions are a liability, but then they don't take the time to help me. They just want to point out my flaws. I don't know how. do anything about it. Alright. Kilarian, look at me. You feel weak, correct? Yeah. How does one who is weak become strong? Yes. So then let's train. I will drive you harder. Make you quicker. If that bitch wants to come back again, you'll be ready for her. I don't know about everyone else, but I heard I feel weak, so therefore, we're going to make you strong. You feel that everyone is pointing out that you are too emotional? All right. Have you told them why you're emotional? And have them shut the fuck up so they can listen? I've tried. Are you saying it in ways that they can actually understand? Because you have to remember, sometimes... People who, unfortunately, who have emotions and people who have too much emotions themselves, they can't take on that extra weight sometimes. That's asking a lot of someone, mentally, especially if they're not in a good state themselves. It's not that I'm asking them to do that. But you are, though, Key. Is that what asking for help is? Yes, it is. There's certain things, though, you have to look at, love. All of you are going through all these emotions. I know, yes, I know you know. Speak to me. What do you want, Ki? What do you, What do you want? All these emotions that you are having. What is escalating them? What is making you so anxious? What do you want? I don't know. I don't know anymore because it's just so much I don't know. So? If you don't know yourself, no one else can help you with that love. You have to understand what you need. So you are feeling anxious. You are feeling that everyone is basically against you in a sense from what I'm hearing. You're feeling weak. 
So you're feeling weak? All right, we'll train more. You feel everyone is out to get against you? Have you... Why? Why do you feel all of them are basically against you? You shut down so easily. Because I just want to help. And unfortunately, when things get tough, sweetheart, you shut down. And you shut others out. And you expect them to try and pry open your walls and your boxes to help you. And they can't. They can hardly take care of themselves. This whole team is fucked up. And I'm not saying that lightly. What do you want, Key? Because until you know, no one else can help you. I don't know if you're asking what I want as a... Like, at the end of all of it? What? I'm asking you, what do you think you need in order for you to be happy? For you to work out? For you to be able to do what we need to do right now? What do you need to go against this variation that you are so fearful of? I... Because right now you're holding all your emotions right here. And they feel like they're about to burst, aren't they? Because you don't know how to decipher them. Correct? Yes. Okay. So now we have to pinpoint what the issues is. Because I suggest that's something to think about. And I have a feeling it's not just the battle you've had and the conversations you've had with your mates. Probably a whole list of things, a laundry list of things. It's probably all amped up to this point like a little teapot. Short and stout. There we go. All right. I don't know it. I don't know if I can do anything. What do you mean by that? You don't think you can do anything... regarding what? What capabilities are you lacking? No, that's... it's not... I, I, I don't know how to explain it, I guess, but it's more so that I am trying to... ...figure out... Okay. Why, I'm... Why? I tend to be such a fucking coward in situations because I run away and I know I do. Mm hmm. I'm trying to not run away and I thought that I was getting better at it. Do you feel safety safer when you do run away? 
whether it's a problem or in a fight. Because then you don't have to express your emotions to others. I say a lot of things that upset people. All right. In what regards? You know, it's been multiple times when we saw it, it happen at least twice now, I think, where I'll say something and almost everyone seems to take it as one way or another, it just kind of turns into everyone always being upset with me. Why do you think they get upset with the things that you say? I don't know. Because it's not what they want. It goes against what they feel, what they want. Okay. Do you know of any trigger that tends to happen for them to rebuttal against you? Anything, like a certain subject of sorts? I don't know. Because there definitely is a few things. Everyone's slightly different. But you all have one thing in common. You all fear possibility of everyone dying and everyone tends to blame themselves for that possibility or things that have happened which would then go oh my fault everyone hates me every single one of you do that I think I'm going to have to keep a close an eye. Love, sit back down. I'm assuming she got up. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. sure, we'll say she did. Why not? <laughs> uh, so she's just going to kind of like sigh down, I guess. She's like... It's not like... The AI... It's not a sassy sigh. It's the kind of like... Uh, defeated sigh, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um... He is sitting next to you, and he's going to motion for you to eat the fucking scone again. Um. <laughs> and he's going to go, this is going to be a long work of progress. This isn't going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take years, Key. And I say that knowing it will take years. Because I myself have taken years to heal from my own traumas. I'm still healing from them. 
It's gonna wipe your your face again. <sighs> the first step is identifying. Identify what you fear, what you feel you lack, what you feel that you need to be better at. Or identifying what you need to dive deep into. A memory, a feeling, It's going to take us a while, love. But I'll be here every step of the way. <sighs> it will be okay. I really want to say I'm sorry right now, but I know that... Nope. You... Not needed. Close your eyes, love. Just lean on me. Listen to my heartbeat, if that helps. She's going to lean against him, and her her hand is probably going to do that thing where she, like, grips the shirt. Mm -hmm. like, like, if she's, um, I guess leaning against him, mm -hmm. um, her hand's probably kind of, like, up, up here mm -hmm. if she just, like, grips his shirt. Mm -hmm. um, and then she pauses for a second, and then she's just going to say, Thank you for teaching me that... Spell pain. I don't even know what it was. It's minor illusion. If you have enough practice with it, you may be able to get very good at it, but just remember that spark in your body, that energy, that flow. Because that is all you, love. That is your ability, your capabilities, no one else's. That comes from your will, no one else's. Because you are the only one that can make magic in that way. So she looks up at him mm -hmm. um, from where she is, and she's just like, she's not crying anymore. Now it's kind of just like the tear-stained face kind of a thing. Um, and then she's going to say, I just need you to realize that I'm trying, and I know you do. I'm trying. And I also need you to realize that that is one of the things that would be on that list that I still up that I have to show you. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. Okay. 
And he's just gonna let her, like, lean into him. Yeah, she's probably kind of, because I don't know how much she ate, but I feel like it was enough. She's probably doing that thing where she's, like... Getting a little drowsy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so before she falls asleep, she's just gonna let him know that she loves him, as she always mm -hmm. probably does anyway. But, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's gonna wait until her breathing fully evens out, and she gets to at least to, like, that deep sleep before he's going to lift her up and take her into the hut. Um, he is gonna, like, basically look at Asa, who's still awake, and be like, help me, like, set up a bed for her. And they're gonna set up, like, a small little bed. Um, do, 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 which is gonna be over here. And at that point... Phoenix, you would have then passed Venry as he's taking Key inside and setting her down. And he's gonna come back out. And before I get to the next part, we are going to go on break. Thank you. 
Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.
and we are back from break! <clears throat> All right. So, Phoenix, you are able to come out. Venry kind of comes out as well. He's going to look at you for a second, Phoenix, and he's going to go under his breath. He's going to go... I'm going to go check on Cheng. He's still not going to sleep, and I think he's looking to try and do an all-nighter, so I'm going to do a double check on him. If you're able to locate where the hell Noctis went, because I want to confirm, Sam, you said that lasts like an hour, right? The little illusionary thing? Um, yes, but he dropped it after he got into play. Say that again. He dropped it after he like... Yeah. By now, would he have dropped it once his once the first shift was done? Was a it the a little bit after? Okay, never mind. So you just see kind of. Are you making it so it looks like you're sad or like just kind of passed out on the side? How are you making your illusionary self look right now? Uh, he literally looks like the the drawing I sent. He's just kind of like. Looking kind of digest dejected and just like watching. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but um, once once he's like where he is now, um, that illusion is gone. Okay. So the illusion has not dropped yet. Then it's still going. I guess not, because I don't really know where in the time frame this is. Yeah. So this is them coming out. Just as that com, just as they put key back in, so your guys' conversation has happened at least a few hours ago. Has second watch come out yet? That's what Venry and Phoenix are doing right now. They are second watch. Oh, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Because Venry yeah. only has to meditate, and he's good. Yeah. Like which is partly what he was doing when he was in the tree when you guys were kind of doing other yeah. shit. Um, I'd probably say, like, once he does his thing, like, mm -hmm. he dropped the illusion. So it doesn't look like he's hanging out there, like, all night. Okay, so I want to confirm. As of right now, it is going, correct? Yeah. Yeah, if they're just coming out, yes. Okay. Can you place your token where your illusionary location would be? If it'll let me move it. I believe. If not, then I can move you. There you go. Yeah, it was just being weird. It was just being, you know, a little bit nitpicky. So, Venery is going to look over at Phoenix, and he's going to go, I'm going to go check on Chang. Do you want to remind Noctis that his shift is over and uh, we're taking over? She'll just kind of nod and be like, okay. And he's going to nod back. And he goes, um, holla if you need me, um, but also... I'm gonna talk to you afterwards. I'm working on new earpieces and whatnot for everyone else. So I want ideas, I guess. Okay. He's just gonna give you a nod. <clears throat> and he's gonna slowly make his way. On to the opposite side of where Chang is. And so, Chang, you are in front of your table working on things. 
I'm going to have you roll a perception dice for me. And remember, your lows are high and high are lows. Damn good, I guess. Okay. Well, I mean, he is a very tall elf man that is now yeah. in front of your <laughs> you thing. There is no missing this tall white man. He's just enormous. So you can hear. <clears throat> a little a little bit of shifting and whatnot in front of you. The movie right there. And Venry is quiet for a little bit before he <clears throat> Hey there mate, I got a I got some questions. Tinkering questions actually. So, I know that as of right now, we all have our little earpieces that I was able to mess around with and whatnot, but I realize it's not necessarily the best for everyone because not everyone can hear the conversations when it's needed. So, I was thinking of creating one for Laurie and Bim and Kath and Osa. And I want to know, because as of right now, you know that everyone kind of has their own little trinket along with it. So everyone has their own little stylized version of it. What do you think Bim would want? Or maybe something of that sort? No, I wanted to ask you, because as of right now, your lover boy is passed out, and you are here after your watch has ended, and you don't look to have the intent of stopping what you're doing. He just slowly sets down his tool. It's like, here we go. Am I not allowed to work on my potion? No, you're more than welcome to, but I would rather you also be able to get full night's rest so you're not, you know, tired. I'll get my rest eventually. Eventually? I don't really like that answer. I need to finish this before we go because I don't know when I'll get another chance to do it. So either I finish it now or we don't get them. That's fair. How many of those potions are you making, mate? So, according to Key's request, mm -hmm. it was a supreme, a greater, and a superior, which take two and a half hours. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So you you would be almost done with those yeah, by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just like he's like I'm so cool. <laughs> so you're planning on going to bed after you're done with that last little bit then? Mate, you're not very good at lying. <laughs> he really isn't. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't want to sleep right away. I don't feel like sleeping. Is that a problem? No, I'm just worried about you, mate. You're worried. Oh yeah. I'm worried about everyone. I legitimately had to drug key to go to sleep. You did what? 
Would you like some? I have some. It'll just no. knock you out straight on your ass. No, no, no. Technically, it is a sleep, like, it helps you get to sleep. It's natural, too. It's just using different kind of berries and such. Uh-huh. Okay. He doesn't trust that at all. <laughs> He's just, he kind of is, like, he's doing his, like, slightly lean on the desk, too, but, like, not to, like, hit or anything. How dare he sit right there in my spike? Mm-hmm. He's, like, right across from you. <laughs> yep, he's just staring at him, like, why? Why? Why are you here? In my space. <laughs> I'll be honest. I heard lots of little bits and pieces of uh, conversations, as I do. This oh, is this is me more so. Mm, yes, but also, I want to see how you're doing, mate. This is more of a checkup than anything else. How do you think I'm doing? I said bits and pieces of the conversation. Bits and pieces, yeah, what bits and pieces? Um, you don't seem to be doing well, which I do not blame you. Well, there it is. I am not doing well. <sighs> Chang, when did you find out? He's motioning towards the tassel. Mm hmm. The tower. When I went to sleep. I'm sorry. So, you know, you'll have to forgive me if I don't want to sleep right away. No, that's fair. I'm assuming it was a uh, guided escapade for that knowledge. I asked for it. So it was my own fault. No. He's like, what do you mean, though? No? <laughs> he's like, I literally asked for the information. No, he's just, he's like, I know, I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Confusion. Yeah, no, no, he's going, I know, like, I get it. You have a lot of, um, words, especially towards Noctis and towards Key. Is there any words that you want to say to me? Not at all, actually. That's actually very surprising. What am I supposed to tell you? You've well, I've been with us for a short time. Yes, but we did. Unless you're looking for an, I'm sorry. No, God knows. I was looking more so just to check up on you, mate. I mean, I may not be everyone's favorite cup of tea around here, but you are important to Key, and some of you are somewhat important to me, too. Technically, you are also my family. Oh, so now you accept it. Should I not? Should I? Should I just say you are the black sheep? Oh, mm -hmm. how horrible! I, think, I don't know. I think you took that role. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, you haven't been quite the well yourself for obvious reasons, and I know stress when I see it. Is there anything that I can help you with? I don't know, Larry, to be quite honest. I don't know. 
I mean, I'm not s as skillful with you with like concocting potions and whatnot. I would probably end up just getting someone vaguely sick. I mean, that could be used. Uh, true, but if my intention was to heal and it comes out as poison, well. Hmm. No, the shrooms, yes. I still got some left. We have quite a bit. Do we have? Mm hmm. How are you feeling about this upcoming battle? Or battle? I'm assuming we're actually gonna fight the fucking god. I wouldn't be surprised if we did, to be honest. Uh, considering our chat record, probably. Yeah. More like considering their track record. Yeah. But, uh... Do you know what- do you know why that tends to be the option that is most common? What, fighting the gods? No, this team. If you can call it that. What do you mean? What option? What do you mean? Everyone here tends to jump to conclusions. No plans are ever fully flushed out. And in the end, many people get hurt. Is that obvious, or have you been watching us this entire time, <laughs> even from before you joined us? You know me quite well. I mean, everybody's been keeping an eye on us, somehow or other. Well, I'll be honest, I have the controller for the earpieces, so I can key in at any time. Is that so? Yes. It's how I made sure everyone was okay when I was very far away. Right. Call me a mother hen if you'd like. No. Oh goodness, alright, you are... Alright, <laughs> fine! He's, he's just like, hmm. <laughs> are you trying to make me feel better? Is that what this is? Well, I got you to laugh a few times. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Sure. Ha. I just know that a lot of responsibility has been thrust upon everyone. A lot of stress has been thrust upon everyone. A lot of thrusting in general has been happening. Speak for yourself. Speak for myself? <laughs> the thrusting part, he means. Well, you do seem like a bottom, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> He like tosses the um, what is it called? The um, the pestle from the mortar and pestle at him, like like directly at him. Oh, hang on, I I, I gotta I gotta see if he's gonna is he's gonna let it happen or if he's gonna catch this shit. Oh, he's gonna it's gonna it's gonna hit him square in the chest. He rolled low. <laughs> he's like right there. Yeah, so it's just poof, and he goes, oh god. You definitely have an arm on you. Don't be gross. I'm not being gross, I'm being honest. I'm being very gross. I'm being honest! How is that being gross? You. Things I don't need to know. I'll be... <laughs> Been there, done that. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Why? That's me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
to just stare at her and disbelieve. Like, why did I need to know that? Like, like that's what a space is saying. Like, why? Why me? Why <laughs> sleep? I don't know her. I thought I would get some sleep tonight, but no, no. That means it's determined to ensure I don't sleep tonight. <laughs> Too much, too much information. Mm, mm, right, right. <laughs> right, you're still in that delicate phase. Delicate? Are you calling me delicate? Are you for real right now? Well, you're not used to relationships and like talking on that kind of side of things. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so green about romance. I wouldn't say necessarily green, I'd say vanilla, but that's all right. Is that what you came here to do? Judge me on my, how I handle my relationships, really? Well, I mean, it seems to be getting your mind off of everything else, so I think I'm doing rather well. Wow. You're not doing a very good job if what you wanted, if you, what you wanted me to do is sleep. Well, I have... Two goals in mind. I gotta spit it out then. Before you tell me way too much. <laughs> Any more than you already have. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. You're definitely getting a little bit frisky. A little bit. I'm sorry? You! Your attitude! Which I mean. Expected. At least you're now speaking out a lot more than you used to. You used to hold your tongue a lot more, which I think I like a lot better. I'm not the only one that's so hard. I'm not the only one. No. Who's the other one? Dead on. He's just smirking back. Though that was the answer. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. He's like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> so, what do you think? Firework? I feel like firework is just so blah when it comes to another item that he could have on his. Pretty little head of his, even though he doesn't like me very much. He was a lot of red, so I assume probably would want red. He is your bow, so... Oh my god. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Why, why are you so shy every time I'm like, your bow, your man, he, he is. Oh. You're not shy. Did you just hear the tone in your voice when you said that? Oh, you, I'm sorry. I can't you, really hear you, sound, well. you sounded like a very stubborn person. Just, I'm not shy. I'm not shy. I'm private. Mm, right, no. Right. But again... I am genuinely asking you because you know him more than I do. <sighs> and I told you I genuinely don't know. What do you want from me? And suggestions? I don't. I suggest you are the artificer. You are the one that creates things. I just tinker around and do a little bit stuff for a hobby. You're the one that actually does this amazing things. <sighs> Oh, that reminds me, I have something for you. Oh, He's gonna dig into his pack. Oh, what do you have? <clears throat> and you see him take out a box and oh, no. cling, put it on the table. Mm. <sighs> there you go. What was this? Something that you can make, something that could help us. Yes. 
He like taps it with his knuckle. Um, so it is a wooden box, but inside you can you feel something familiar inside. Can you just like pry it open? Oh yeah, you can just lift the lid, just yeah, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> with attitude. <laughs> you see two chunks of things here. A large chunk of meteorite and a large chunk of tungsten. Bitch. You've been looking for this, right? Yeah. Where'd you get it? Oh, I've had it since Bone City. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you just kept it to yourself? Just, when do we ever have a chance to talk, Chang? Um, don't grumble at me. Besides, keep in mind of everything that fucking happened, too. When did I really have the time to do all of it? Mm-hmm. A lot has definitely happened. More than you've been present for. No, probably a lot more than I am even aware of. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. I would hope not. Well, I'd have to be suspicious. <laughs> yes, because I'm a very suspicious bloke. Oh, so absolutely. Oh, yes. So sus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I cut you, would you bleed? I mean, yes. Like anyone else. <laughs> he's like, does the... He's like asking for the hand. Like, he's like motioning for him to like bring the hand over. He immediately just shoves it over. No <laughs> questions asked. He just like pokes a needle in it. Yep. Like yeah, you see that little, little, bit. little bit of blood with that golden shimmer in it that he has. The relief on his face is noticeable. Like, it's bad that he even thought about it for a second, but like, he just, he's on edge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He goes, does that help? something, I'm sure. Alright. Not sure what you can do with a little dollop, but... <laughs> I could always extract more, but that might take a little bit more time. No, really, don't... Mm. I've got plenty with those fruit. I don't need any more blood. I hope I don't need any more blood. used to that, huh? Oh, yeah. Cuts, <laughs> bruises, pricks, pringles, prodded. You should see my back. I think you actually have. It is have. littered with scars. Yeah. Technically, the whole body is, but that's the most common location. I'm used to physical trauma. Unfortunately, it is an unfortunately thing that I am. I'm sorry. I'm healing. It will take time, but at least I am. And at least I can now finally admit it. That's good. 
You see him kind of reach over, and he kind of, like, he's one of those people that, like, fiddles with shit. So, like, you see him, like, pick up a little, like, one of your potion extracts that you have, and he's just, like, swirling it and whatnot. Um, but puts it back in its place. Um, you do have, like, a little bit of, like, a red powder on your desk. That's what that cone looking thing is um and you and that's kind of what helps with the potion making but you see him at at one point reach out take some of it and just kind of like run it through his fingers a little bit but it taints his like tips of his fingers a little bit red um and he kind of pauses and looks at you I know you're frustrated with everything that's going on. I'm frustrated with everything that's going on. Why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. I'm too busy. Because I've realized that... I can't do everything myself. Oof, that hit. Me too, huh? It's an unfortunate truth, but a truth nonetheless. I've relied on myself my entire life. And what we're facing now is something I know the abilities I have will not be enough. I mean, I lost a connection that gave me immense abilities. I was thrown back years in training. I lose by that loss. I'm now just coming into my own of what I can actually do by my own power and own capability. But even then, I know it's not enough for what we are about to f- face. A dragon? I know nothing about dragons. another god if I still had my connection with Thanatos I could probably feel like I could but I don't anymore and I know that all of us separate we wouldn't be able to accomplish what we've had so far even with the unfortunates that has plagued us the terror that has plagued us. My only issue with the group as a whole is something that has been bugging me since I first starting, started watching all of you. Oh, yeah. You guys' teamwork sucks. I wish I could explain the expression he (laughs) (laughs) made. He just sighs. Sighs hard. Tips his head back. Preaching to the choir. (laughs) I know. I know. Everyone has great strengths in what they do. But unfortunately, in battle specifically, you all aren't communicating with each other. Have key shoot from a distance, have you make a shield, have Phoenix do a sneak attack, have Noctis come in with a big explosion because I know that he's a wizard now and he has massive magical ability, and then come down with Kath and Bim 
shooting down a fucking hammer on whatever the hell it is. Yeah. That would be nice. He looks... <laughs> Shang looks honestly exhausted at that. Like, mm -hmm. that would be nice. <laughs> So that's why I'm thinking about making the other's earpieces, so maybe we can then get better communication. I mean, we already had earpieces. We had spells. Mm. That didn't help. No, but I think the biggest thing is not having someone instigate, telling people what to do. And I think you'd be great for that. Absolutely not. They listen to you, Chang. This is how I know you haven't been here. Are you serious? I mean, I've tried to say things in the past. What we could do. At least at the beginning. I had ideas. But I was always behind. And even when I caught up. There was still a huge chasm between me and everyone. And every time I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer, it just gets wider. And it feels like no matter what I do, it's not going to shrink. And I know the gods are milking that. As is, as are the other creatures that are out there that just want to fuck us up for fun. Just because. For sport. And it feels like I can't do anything about it. Like nothing I say is it gets through anyone. I, I don't have what they need. I don't have the items, I don't have the words, I don't have the solutions. I'm just a guy. Aren't we all just guys on this whole thing? <sighs> I know. It's getting so tiring. Yeah. I understand that fully. If I wait, something will change. If I just have more patience, if I just wait, maybe someone will come around. But if you take a couple steps forward and ten steps back, you losing your powers was not supposed to happen. We were trying to save Juniper because we believed it to be the best action at the time and instead that blew up in our face quite literally and she died you can roll an insight on Venry on that one Remember, if it's low, it's high. So it rolled a six. And you have advantage. Okay, so six. Yeah, six plus uh, my insight is a plus seven. Oh, shit. 
Damn, is my insight that high for real? Have I been rolling this wrong this entire fucking time? Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. You are legitimately on par with him right now. You guys have tied against his deception <laughs> and your insight. Wow, you're gonna try to deceive me, motherfucker? After you sat at my table <laughs> and threw it on my time? Now that was your advantage. That was that was your advantage roll, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do rollies. Don't be scared. Your it still complies with yours. As yours is low, it is high. Mine is gonna be yeah. just whatever it is. Okay. Rollies, 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 rollies. <laughs> Okay. 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 He rolled a 12. Ooh, I rolled a 2. <laughs> so you <laughs> So you got a 19. Okay. Let's go. When you mention Juniper, there is a look of anguish on his face. Yeah. Because he had saved her from that location. He took her under his wing. He was like a surrogate Ari for him while he was away. And although she did get fucked up by the other one and Thanatos, he never blamed her for that because he knew it was out of her control. And you just see guilt blaming himself for her getting to that point. Him not being able to protect her. He didn't just lose Ari that day for a little bit. He lost Juniper. To him was like a little sister. And you see those emotions in his face, and you can identify. Because that's exactly how you would have felt if it was way young. So you can see those fluxes of just absolute sorrow, anguish, trying to get himself back together, and it's slipping. And he goes. I know you all intended to do. To try and help. She was under so many influences, even I couldn't help her from. You see that he kind of sits up a little bit, so he is now taller, but you see it's basically him trying to regain himself again. Chang is giving him space to regain himself, but mostly Chang just doesn't know what to say because that's one of the many things that weigh heavy on him. Mm -hmm. Especially because Chang was the one that pushed so hard to get Thanatos ripped out of Juniper. Mm -hmm. So he feels really responsible for that moment and for being so adamant that they see Lady Death and that get this over with instead of mm -hmm. like, instead of just staying the night and waiting it out. Mm -hmm. Like he was in such a hurry to make that happen. And... Mm -hmm. So like it's like when you're looking directly at the consequences of your actions. Like, it could mm -hmm. just not get any more direct than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. It's hard for him to look at that. But he's forcing himself to because it's like, this is what you did. Mm -hmm. This is what your careless actions lead to. You can't run away from this. Like, that's what he's feeling right now. 
you see him excel his breath and just kind of hold it together. What sucks the most is I had known that she was exactly like Ari, which is why I took her under my wing. Her brother did exactly what I did. What do you mean? Juniper would have passed regardless. Especially since Thanatos and other Hennis. Well, you all were given that choice. Remember. Unfortunately, I knew at one point it would come down to that for her. She would either drive herself into her own grave, or Thanatos would reclaim what she already had. So, and why do you miss her so much? <laughs> having known that, and having experienced being under her influence, why the hell do you want that, or even miss it? Why do you speak favorably of that? Chang, I am very old. Compared to most. And she's been with me for a very long time. Even before I took the connection with her. She was with me. Looking out for me. Watching me. She was the one that gave me a parent's love when my own parents did not give it to me. And yes, it was probably very fucked up. Especially from an outsider's view. But for some reason... When I think of her, I think of the times that she did comfort me. She was there for me. In my darkest hours, she was there. And I know you may not be able to understand and the others may not be able to understand because you all saw her as such a villain, as did I sometimes. But I just cannot turn my back on her completely. I guess I... I have hope, even for her, to change. 
And it may be a hope that never comes to fruition. Sometimes we cannot hope but love the ones that hurt us the most. I guess I don't understand them, Marie. No. Um, and that's okay that you don't. I um... <clears throat> I just wish you could see why I can't understand. Not just obviously because of the life I've led, but I wish you could actually see what it's like to have someone else who's nothing like her to lean on. So that you know what actual care looks like. Even if she was with you for a long time, that doesn't make it okay. Even if she comforted you sometimes, it doesn't undo all the bad that she's done, all the suffering that she's caused you. It's just... How is that any different than what your parents did to you? No. You are completely right. How can I say this? When I was in Glory Grove, I got to see my father's, my birth father's side of the family. They were kind and so willing to just embrace me the moment I made myself known. It was a type of kindness I had never received for myself, but had seen so many others receive. It will take me time, Cheng, to fully understand and come to terms with what she has done, and to be able to have the tools to allow myself to heal from what she has done to me and my family and my mental state. <laughs> Shang's gonna lean in, and he's gonna say, Do you want that to happen? Like, does he, in, in other words, like, does Fenry want that change? Like, does he actually want to lean into that love and care? Mm-hmm. Um, is he actually open to it, or is he just parroting what needs to be said? Roll a insight, since you're questioning it. Alright, roll the base four. Plus the seven. Okay. Um, you're not sure. You can't discern, based on his expression, if he is believing what he's saying, or just saying it just to say it. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're, you can't quite discern that just yet. And you see that he's just kind of like... Like, I don't know what to tell you. I told you what I told you, I'm pretty sure that explains what I'm doing. For your sake, I hope that you come to want that one day. Because I've seen 
what it can do for someone who has known nothing but misery. And of course, he's alluding to Siwoo. I don't think Venry knows that, but he's alluding to Siwoo. Yeah. What it looks like to like actually give mm -hmm. someone a stable foundation who's never had it. Yeah. And you see him kind of eye you as you say this, and you see, like, he has a thought cross his mind, and you see a little smirk kind of pull at this side of his mouth um, before it kind of goes back to his normal kind of suavish, suavish expression. I hope that too, someday. Yeah. You know... I don't know what happened... between the other me... and him... but whatever it is... I hope that doesn't happen to us. I mean it. I hope it doesn't either. Just know that even though I fuck up, I don't mean it. I don't want to. I don't want those things to happen. I, I just fucking falling short. <sighs> Believe me, there isn't. <laughs> we have to live with what happened to you for the rest of my life. I can't forget that. Chang. If you need my help with anything, you just ask me. I'll be there for you. I don't even know what I need. That's the problem. Well, what's the problem then? What are the issues that you're having that you're coming across? It's just... And it just feels like no matter how hard we work, we just keep losing. We just keep losing people. Mm -hmm. We lose trust. We lose whatever foothold we have. <sighs> and yes, I know we suck at communicating. That's a given. That's a big but one. It, it shouldn't. That can't be all there is to it. No. There's a few things I've been keeping an eye on. It's driving me crazy that they're always so far ahead. Even when it seems like we're getting all the answers. Do you want to know how I kept them off of me for so long? Yeah. I don't make plans. I make action. I come up with a thought in my head, I tell my team, and we immediately go and do it. We don't wait around for anything. We don't take time to prep or do anything. We just go. It's a little easier said than done. It is a little bit easier said than done, but these other groups, these people who can see the future, whatever it is, they're looking at our patterns. They always know kind of what you're thinking before you do it. If you do something suddenly, quickly, it's not as easy to track. Or, another thing is have one person make the choices, which is horrible. When it comes to movement, and some sometimes make you go down a darkened alleyway, which then goes into a big, f disgusting ooze location, and then you have to crawl on your hands and knees to get through the ooze to the other side. <sighs> He's like having a memory. <laughs> There 
is no such thing as security in this line of work. However, if I recall Noctis was working on a spell for rooms and stuff, that would greatly help in the long run. Unfortunately for Noelle's shop, there was just too many hands in a pot. Also didn't help that there was a traitor in the shop, so I mean... Too many hands in a pot. <laughs> and too many hands normally can result in injury. Or in some cases, death. I don't want you to do anything, I just want you to at least have this conversation. If you have any ideas on anything, let me know. I'm just trying to figure out maybe what we all can do. Uh, like you had an idea well, somewhat of an idea, I just... I don't know, I go back and forth on it. Because I also don't want to kind of butt in on everything, coming in late. You all kind of have relationships with each other, and I don't want to overstep my bounds, if that makes sense. I mean, you all are the ones that are touched by other Hennis. I'm just part of her bloodline. I don't know, maybe you should take a leaf out of Catherine Boone's book. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, just do it. Bim is very act now, think later. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's why I can never get a read on him, considering he's just all over the place at all times. I'm surprised you can't get a read. No! Maybe do you know... Well, read on his actions, I should be very thorough with what I'm saying, because he will do- say something, and then do something entirely different. <laughs> he is a chaotic gremlin. And then there's Osa. Quiet. Stealthy. Don't know what's going on behind that face, especially with the recent events. It's kind of bad to say, but isn't he forgettable a little bit? <laughs> he just disappears. It's because he observes. He watches everyone. I bet he's feeling like dog shit, though. Probably. But back to this earpiece, what kind of thing do you think Bim Bim would want? I don't know. Um, just a firework? Should I just do like a little no, thing of a firework? Like, you know, it, he's, that's not all there is to him, you know? He's I mean, I'll, I, every single time I try to speak to him, he gives me a mean mug. And I don't know what I've done to him to deserve that from him. He just does not seem to like me very much. Ah, well, that's yeah, he comforting. Says that, as you said, do now think later. He would have already beat the shit out of you. Try. Don't him. Can can we revert what you said and say try instead instead of actually beat the shit out of me? <laughs> I know he doesn't look like it, but he can raise hell if he wants. Oh, believe me, I've seen him with that hammer. I know he can raise hell. And he can hit his mark. Mm-hmm. More than people might give him credit for. He is somewhat of a tank, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You're a different kind of tank, though. 
because I'm fat? No, you're basically as sturdy as a wool. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, no, but seriously, Chang, when you are on the battlefield, what do you normally try to do the most? What is, what would you say is like, what you want to do when you're there? Are you trying to attack, 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 or are you trying to support, or heal, or? I mean, I try to support, but uh, it doesn't work in my favor. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know why you have such shit luck, mate. I don't know. I... I'm sure even she doesn't know. I... <laughs> <laughs> Artemis on the side know, just goes... Speaking, <sighs> <laughs> she's literally giving me all the help imaginable, and I still miss the like, just... I, I don't know what I could possibly do other than throw my entire body at the enemy at this point because like <laughs> nothing works not a not a potion not a spell not even bullets not even bullets which is weird because technically you have control over the trajectory of where the bullets yeah, go yeah yeah Ed, yeah here we are and yet here we are do you think you need more training you think I mean, yeah, like I got training before this shit started. Nobody told me, "Hey, you get ready for war." I mean, to be fair, you all just were chosen for things. I don't even. Know. How were you chosen? I. What was it? What? The first of the world. I wanted to be a champion. What did they promise you, Chang? Right, well, where I'm from, being one meant that you can actually make the change you wanted to see happen. And like an idiot, I believed it. I saw an opportunity and I took it. And I put my name in the draw. And I won. Nobody was happy about me. <laughs> Well, fuck them, I'm happier here because I'd rather not anyone else, cause... You know? Uh, found family. Uh, I'm just hoping one day I can actually live up to the title that I thought I had. Do you really want that title though? Why not? It's just a word. Yeah, a word that normally has expectations and meaning behind it. Not necessarily a meaning that you want. Or to have those expectations, again, thrust upon you. Henry, I want change. Then be your own change. form of change. I'm trying, okay? Uh <laughs> Like I, said, I know you were trying. I know you're trying. Uh, I trying to pay attention, trying to keep notes, tabs. I'm trying to understand my teammates because I apparently knew nothing, which fair. Um, trying to see if I can help. Mm -hmm. Which obviously he's motioning towards the potions. Yep. And I want to do right by my uncle. And make sure that his sacrifice wasn't in vain. What exactly happened, Chang? Timekeepers. He was a de facto? I don't fucking know. 
I didn't know anything about him until very recently, actually. This was not the way I wanted to find out all that stuff, but here we are. No. Oh, um... Did you want to update on your sister there? He, like, squints at him, like, wait... How do you... Like, he, like, forgot for a moment that, like, Venry can just... Boop! In Obscura, or... Sorry, it's a Duska. Duskura. Duskura. <laughs> and he, like, slowly, like... It's like the realization just blooms on his features. Like, oh shit, that's right. Golden child. Right. Right. Yeah. I saw her earlier while I was in meditation. She was talking about um school. Apparently she's been enrolled. She's very excited about it, meeting new friends. Has a little bit of a glow about her. And not a golden glow, like, happier. Just to confirm with you. <laughs> so... She's at least settling in this new location and seems happy so far. If that puts, just hoping that would put your mind at ease a little bit. A little bit. Oh. oh, do you want a snack or anything? Oh, I'm famished. Pulls out a scone. <laughs> what is it with you and Key and scone? They're good. I don't understand. Why would you not want scones? Why do you both have scones? Where did you get scones? From the bird. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yeah. I added my own jam, though. It's really quite good if you are interested. <laughs> He's gonna take a bite of his own scone. Chuck doesn't want to eat the scone, but he's just gonna nibble at it at first. I mean, it tastes good. It's just like a scone with jam. No, I know, but he, like, <laughs> Keith hasn't been feeling like... Eating. He's just oh, like, yeah. But like, once he tastes it, he's like, damn, I'm starving. Mm-hmm. And he's like, wow, wow. <laughs> he just fucking inhales it. Venry is going to eat, like, half of it, but avoid the jam part and, like, put the rest of it off to the side for now. He goes, I'll eat the rest of that later. <laughs> I just fucking inhaled that, like, <sighs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he sure did. Just inhaling all the food. And he's like, alright. How many more minutes for these potions do you have? I don't know, I said. I don't know, ten minutes. Alright. Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, they're not too bad. I'm not much of a cook myself, but... I wouldn't mind trying to figure something out. Like, there's like a weird pause. Mm hmm. Where he's like. He's like, you know what would be a good symbol for Ben? What? He's like, between bites, he's like. I'm firefly. A firefly? There for a moment. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen, and then they're gone. Like a memory. Like almost like organic fireworks. Hmm. Not quite. Firefly. All right. 
you see him like he whips out his little sketchbook and you see him start kind of kind of drawing stuff down writing it out and all that um so by now your potions have been completed mm -hmm. um you have now that box it is a smaller box but it is a chunk that's big enough to make a blade yeah so both chunks are big enough to make a blade um so you have that so you can put that into your group and yeah so you kind of just like all right well you can try and settle down a little bit at least get some shut eye in or do you have any other questions for me he has a question i'm trying to remember what it is hold on, hold on. <laughs> Because, like, the more he gets relaxed, the more loose lips he gets. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he gets, as I've told you before, he gets different when he sleeps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he's just, like, I guess it's not much of a question, but more like a statement. Like, he can't believe that Venry could ever turn out the way that the other guy did. Like, he just can't fathom. Mm -hmm. Because Venry is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like... Um, like... <laughs> is he just like... You're nothing like him kind of thing? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. just like, I just... He's like, you are not like him at all. I wanted to hate you. <laughs> but I couldn't. Because you're so nice. I hope Caesar gets to see you. He kind of is just going to silently smile. And slowly help you, like, not pushing you to pack up your thing, but kind of just, like, get things in certain order that would be easier for you to just kind of finish packing real fast. And he goes, mm -hmm. thank you for thinking that. I would be very sad if uh, you and I weren't friends. He's like struggling to put his things together because that sleep is hitting him hard. He's like, mm -hmm. But he's like, he's also like, don't forget to talk to her. Because like his head is bobbing. Mm -hmm. He goes, he said you would. Yeah, I know. You would. Promise. He like takes out his pinky. Grabs his pinky, goes, Pinky promise. He like sways from side to side as in front of see if he's crossing any fingers. No, he's he's perfectly fine, but he kind of does that, but he's slightly moving you towards the entrance of the hut. <laughs> You know when, like, people are like, I did this earlier, like, two days ago. There was a person that was put not leaving my work, and you just slowly start talking to them, having their attention, and you walk them to the door. That is basically what he's doing. He's like, I promise, mate. And I hope that we'll all be able to figure out something in the morning. And then maybe I'll have a, uh, a new head earpiece for, uh... A bim, a firefly. <laughs> Dude, this like barely get making it. <laughs> like... Oh yeah, oh yeah. So he's he's slowly kind of like 
gets you in through the door. And then kind of like lets you settle down next to Bim, who's starfishing, and he goes, I'll finish packing up your case here in a bit, all right, mate? I would... No, that's actually a fair statement. <laughs> I can feel the metal. Oh, rob me. I will not rob you. Good night. No. Oh. He, like, like, fucking flaps. Like, just... <laughs> on Bim, like, boom. Like, he just fucking falls on Bim. Like, like, like. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bim just. <laughs> he, like. He's just dead, conked out, like. Mm hmm. In Bim's arm. Okay, Henry. I, I just, just getting off of it, like, whoa. Oh, yeah, Artemis is already on, like, one of the branches that are connected to the inside, just kind of, like, just above you guys at this point, just like, that's, that's, that's you, okay. Venry is gonna come back out, and he kind of just runs his hands over his face. And kind of look, looks over. Um, while they were talking, Nyx. What were you doing? I was supposed to... Check uh, to go to bed. Yeah. Yep. So she probably, honestly, would have, like looked around that like what she can see in the area mm -hmm. at first which obviously she's not going to see him mm -hmm. and then she would have probably used the earpiece okay and been like Noctis where are you Going to sleep. Where? Because you're not in the hut. It's a little cramped in there. It's a little safe in there. I'm fine. Can she look and see if she can see, like, footprints or anything? Do a nature check for me. Hold on. Where's my... Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. 19. Um, I'd say you'd see, like, because you're right there, you would see where he was when he was talking to Chang, and you'd see those two footprints, and you see the footprints going to where Chang was, and you see the footprints going towards where his fake variation is right now. So you kind of know he's over that way. And the fake variation is the one on the screen in the tree. Yes, yes. It's like under the tree. He's technically like yeah, he's squatting sitting, under. Yeah, he's sitting kind of... Doing a cat sort of. twitch tail squat. Yeah, he's just kind of like hugging his knees like... She's going to go over. She's gonna look at him and be like, You can't just stay here by yourself. Sure, I can. And that message is coming from that fake variation, so it sounds like it's coming from that location. Yeah, like, yeah, he's like moving, talking, everything.
Noctis. Phoenix. What's what's going on? Like, why won't you just go lay down with everyone else? Your watch is over. I just want to be alone for a little while. That's all. I thought we weren't supposed to be alone. I'm only like ten feet away. Mm. And that's what being on watch is for anyway, right? You're not on watch anymore. No, exactly. That's what you're here for. Make sure nothing sneaks up on me. Oh, so I'm your bodyguard now. Everyone's bodyguard right now. She like throws her forehead. Why do you have to be such a pain? I just needed some time alone, that's all. She's just gonna like. Oss is in the hut. Yeah. He is. Mm -hmm. You know he's not like, happy with me, right? No, I didn't know that. I think I'll stay here for a little while. She's getting kind of exasperated. So she's probably just going to like plop and not talk. Because she's not going to leave him by himself, but he wants to be by himself. So she's just not going to bother him with the words. No, you're the one being the pain. response to that would be um, that she's just doing her job as a bodyguard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for my D4. You're fine. You can't just watch out for me. It's okay. I can watch the other direction, too. Uh, four. Four? Okay. So you're just gonna sit there for as long as you need? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Sam, are you going to do anything with Miss Lead? Or are you going to... What, what would you like to do? Because Venry is still talking to Chang at this moment, and the D4 was to see how long... She's willing to stay there to see if it would get past your hour slot for it. And she is going to be very uh, stubborn and be there past your hour slot before that image will. Cool. Um, Noctis is still planning to do his thing that he's going to do. Yep. Um, and if she's staying there until the very end... Um, Noctis is probably just gonna be like, like toward the end of it. Mm -hmm. He's probably just kind of, kind of be like, let me see if I got something in that. 
Yeah. Yeah, he'll be like, all right, I'll I'll head back. And he is going to have have his little image yeah, walk, like walk over to the hut. Okay. And then, as he enters the hut, uh huh, he's gonna make himself. He's gonna let his illusion drop. Yep, got it. Okay. I guess we'd so. probably go this way if Ben was over there. I don't know. Uh, Venry would have been over here with Chang in the corner. Okay. So he would have been talking to him. Let me see if he would register that. Okay. Um, so, because that is the only entrance to and from out of that hut. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you would be able to go in and... Colliding with a wall, but I can't get inside. <laughs> it's okay, he doesn't... I'm just going to put him here. Okay, okay. That's not where he is. He yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then... So, Phoenix, you would have been able to see Venry then kind of guide Chang in, because their conversation was about, like, an hour or so. See him kind of lead Chang, who looks very drowsy, into the hut, and then come back out. He's going to, like, look around for a little bit, and he goes, ah, over there, and he's going to head over to you. He's going to go, had a question for you. What's that? So, I know that we've been having some miscommunications and whatnot, because not everyone has earpieces in sorts. So, I wanted your opinion, along with trying to figure out the design features for Kath. I was going to make one for Ellen Wee, but she decided to depart. Um, but I still want to make one for her as well. So do you have an idea of like, cause I know each, I gave each of you a design of sorts, um, for your earpiece. Um, what do you think Eleanor would like? like the color red she likes red all right yeah kind of she was more like a white red and gold girl isn't she yeah i was gonna say gold too red and gold but it's probably wise, i'm not the best person to ask well colors. do you well if you're looking for red do you have an extra ruby on hand something a small one because i know that you're a jeweler Okay, you see him kind of like thinking, and he's like, "Do you have that?" No, she has tools. She doesn't have. No gemstones on hand. Gemstones. Okay, he goes. All right. Well, then maybe not. We'll just have to keep an eye out for any kind of red stone of sorts. Maybe we can then incorporate that into the actual imagery. Mm. I don't really associate Illinois with any kind of animal or greenery of sorts. Maybe a sword? I could make like a little sword. That could kind of work. Maybe. You see him like, he takes out like his, you see him take out his sketchbook and he's like, he's doing stuff next to you. He goes, and then Kay made a suggestion for Kath of utilizing a stag insignia. She said it was because stags are known to kind of look out for the group kind of thing. And like a protector, sort of. Do you think that fits? That 
that's a that's a nice yes. <laughs> oh, all right. Should I incorporate any kind of color with his, or should I keep it rather m muted? I know that he likes yellow, but I don't have anything that's yellow that I could use. I mean, if we got our hands on some topaz, maybe. All my gems are at home. <laughs> He's just he's just talking out loud and when she says that he kind of goes Well, I'm not demanding it right now. We have time. It will take me at least a few days to get all of these done. Well, I don't plan on going home in the next few days. No, I mean maybe we can maybe if we pass somewhere, may just keep a lookout. Maybe there's something on the ground that might just show up. Like a dandelion. Organic matter won't go over well for that sort of thing. Not unless I'm able to encase it in something. Like crystalline? Yeah, but crystalline has that blue tinge to it that I don't know. It would make it, it, would make it look green, yeah. Color theory and all that. Oh shit. Alright, well, at least I can get somewhat started. I can get the bases done. Oh, I need to figure out something for the monk, too. I have no idea. A bat? No, that's more of a Noctis thing. A dagger? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What are you doing just sitting here? Oh, it's just like the place that you thought would be like the best location. Uh, Noctis was over here refusing to go into the hut, so I was being stubborn because he was also being stubborn. Me a hard. Mm -hmm. He was giving me a hard time before about you can't be alone, you can't be alone, and then he wanted to be alone, which is kind of hypocritical. So I just plopped my butt here and waited for him to go back in the hut. Did he go back in the hut? I saw him walk in there. You might want to go check again, love, because I just came out of the hut. But I saw him go in there. Do you want to go check? Yes. <laughs> Gonna get up with a hurry and go over here. Noctis to uh, Venry. You may need to do another illusionary type of thing. Real quick, just if you're able to, mate. Just saying. No, it's fine. If you insist. He is not in that hut. <laughs> you you come in and Asa just looks up like Hello. <laughs> Something wrong. It's just gonna give Asa the finger. Like, hold on a second. Just outside the the, the doorway. Mm hmm You see Venry just arms crossed, one hand kind of like over the mouth, like wasn't there, was he? In the airpiece just go not just you son of a bitch, where are you? <laughs> he doesn't answer. Gonna be like, I swear on all that is holy, 
Noctis. <laughs> She's like gonna like start just yelling in the earpiece. Just <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> okay. Uh Noctis, would you like to take out your earpiece? <laughs> Sam, um, Sam. Yeah, he's, he's gonna leave it in just having her yell at him the entire time beautiful yeah I, <laughs> i'm just imagining him like wishing it had like a dial like he could just turn it down he's not gonna take it out in case someone else messages him yeah that's fair you hear it do, -do. do you want me to block her for a while Fine, let her get her frustration out. Roger that. Just sitting. I feel like Henry's just watching her get red in the face. <laughs> so she's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna slowly walk over. <laughs> Wasn't in there, was he? Do you know where he is? You sound like you might know where he is because he's not answering me. No. But at least he's actually, you know, responding. That's a good sign. Is he? No. He's ignoring everything I've said. <sighs> he responded to me. I think he just needs some time <laughs> alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna go... I would just leave him alone now for now, Phoenix. Why is it okay for him to be alone if nobody else can be alone? I mean, technically everyone should be able to go off and be alone if they're in their feelings, you know? I wasn't allowed to have my feelings. Would you like to go have your feelings? <laughs> He's gonna motion you outwards, like, would you like to go have your feelings? <laughs> I had everyone questioning, why'd you let her go? Why'd you- <gasps> She's like ranting about Ellen Lee now. Yeah. Like stomping in a circle. He's, he's watching, like, <sighs> yep, she is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, Are you okay? If you want, you can yell at me. That seems to let people get out anger a lot. But I'm not mad at you, Henry. No, you don't necessarily need to be mad at you, but sometimes just yelling helps. I internally use this thing to yell at him, so... I mean, mentally screaming and actually screaming is actually a little bit different. <laughs> when he says that, she just screams out loud. Right to the top of her lungs. You seem just kind of... Not Noctis is gonna message uh, Phoenix in the earpiece. Well, you're not being a very good bodyguard, are you? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> On both of your comms, you have both been silenced from each other. <laughs> <laughs> both he's just venery was like no shut this shit down he's like, he was gonna say you're supposed, you're supposed to be keeping a quiet look no venery's like no no all right no you won't be hearing any comments from him for a little bit 
turned it off. Just between the two of you, for now. Can we go over to him and, like, poke him in the back? <sighs> Not hard, just, like, poke him. Little tiny fingers hurt bad. <laughs> he he immediately is you see him kind of go down and he goes not crisscross applesauce but he does get like down on his butt and he, you see him kind of like tense and go fuck all right <clears throat> i'm sorry that was rude it's fine probably Stopped us from having another stupid, meaningless fight for no reason. Probable. Did it feel good to yell, though? Yes. Good. Hopefully it didn't wake anyone up. No, I don't think so. Not unless we, you know, stop keeping watch. I got that side, you got my back. We're good. <laughs> kind of looking back and forth, he goes. But how are you doing, actually? If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. I'm just here to be an extra ear. I mean, the, I'm here. Mm -hmm. You are here, but that doesn't discount any feelings you may have. Well, I'm feeling a lot of things. I did have a good dream, though, so. Oh, that's good. Someone's actually doing their job correctly. Be nice. I'm always nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm the one that's mean. Hmm. <laughs> Not necessarily mean, just straight to the point. Sometimes that's needed. But it's never really appreciated. No. Not always, because sometimes many people don't understand that straightforwardness is a benefit. Not everyone has to appreciate it, but I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Been making the rounds today. What are you, the in house therapist now? Apparently, I am. Oh, fix me, oh wise therapist. Oh, yes, of course. Young Padawan, what would you like me to help you with? I don't know. I just was trying to be funny. <laughs> oh. Have you been able to reach out to her at all, though? No. I can't. I mean, she just left. Mm. Then we left. That's true. We are still technically on day one of us traveling. 12 hours, probably at this point we're almost. 
17 hours in. How are you feeling about this fight? That is not a yes or a no, that is just you shaking your head. In the fashion of a no. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just need verbal cues. What about it? It makes you un... Not positive. Everything. That's fair. I don't know how we're going to find a dragon. I just figured we were going to use your future wife's sixth sense. Hmm. Yes. She. I. I don't know how she's able to do that sometimes. She boggles my mind. In a good way. When was the last time both of you sat down and talked to one another? It's been a while. I feel like we keep just passing each other mm -hmm. she's like doing this with her hands or something yeah close but not like yeah you see him kind of nod a little bit he goes <sighs> you should probably speak to her she was saying some things earlier that had me concerned Regarding your friendship. Mm -hmm. Is she mad at me? No, no, no. She's more concerned that maybe once you and her brother maybe figure out whatever both of you could possibly be, you might leave her behind. I think she needs more reassurance than anything else. What gave her the idea that... She's been having a lot of thoughts... ...recently that have me concerned. I just had a very long conversation with her before I basically forced her to go to bed because she needs sleep in order to function. If she had a... Forced. Well, you know. You know those herbal teas that can help you go to sleep? Something like that. She's, mm -hmm. She said yes. Okay, she's literally like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the glare has him going, she said yes. <laughs> she's like this, she's like... As long as she was aware. She was. Yes. Key was. What do you mean, key was? Who else did you do that to? Chang? I did, it wasn't out of maliciousness, it's just... Unfortunately, many people in this group will not sleep. And that puts us all at risk to get hurt. I don't have that problem, so don't you dare ever do that to me. Yes, man, cross my heart. Do not wish to die. I wouldn't kill you. That would hurt Key. Tr 
Yes. I was just... That's just a saying I heard once. Okay. <laughs> I find it hilarious that you get so scared of me. You are... Small but mighty, and you... Have a ferocity about you that is kind of intimidating. Which I think... That's what Kath likes about you. Just letting you know. You see him kind of immediately kind of like try to eye you and clock you for a moment at your reaction to that. She's hiding her face. You really do like him, don't you? He's one of my best mates, so... And he has a very good heart. And when he falls for someone, he falls hard, so... Just letting you know. Do you cook? Define cook. Because Kath does. I can't. Very well. To survive, yes, but not well. But... Do you want to know his favourite food? Or do you already know that? Yes, it was. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Is it the goulash? A hot dish. Yeah, she's, she's, gonna, she's gonna be like, he already told me it was warm, cozy meals, like goulash. Specifically? There's a specific kind of noodle he really, really likes. It's kind of like a spiraled noodle. It helps keep the sauces and whatnot all in it. But it's normally more on the expensive side. So if you're able to come across it, definitely pick it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he was just kind of like doing small like little big like smirk. He's like, hmm. <laughs> she doesn't know how to talk about things like this. Mm-hmm. Like, yep, yep. Do you have any questions? I mean, I know a lot of his dirty secrets. I'm not sure that I want to know his dirty secrets. Maybe keep those ones to yourself. Alright, alright. Noted. I think we're gonna be out here for a few more hours. Anything that you need to work on while we're out here? I wanted to do 
do something, but I just don't know where to start. What were you wanting to work on? Not necessarily working on anything, but writing a letter. A letter? I'm assuming it's a private letter, which, understandable. Do I need to leave the... the ground so you can write it in peace? I wouldn't say that that's required. I just don't even know. I'm not real good with the, um... With the words? Um, it, it depends on what you mean by the words. Alright. In certain situations, I'm okay with it. Okay. When it comes to the feelings thing. Ah. Well. There are two people who come to mind that are very skilled with words in certain ways. However, one of them you just yelled at, and the other one I think you should speak to. So I would go with the one that you should speak to if you want assistance on that sort of thing. If not, I'm available, I guess. Him looking very unconfident. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I need help. I just need to formulate and then just put it on the paper. Do you have a fancy paper? I can make you a fancy paper if you'd like a fancy parchment. Add some flair onto it. I, I'm trying to assist and I don't know if I am... is fine. I don't think it needs to be fancy because fancy tends to draw attention. And however I get this to her, I will need to draw the least amount of ten attention lest it be stolen by somebody else. That is fair. Um, if you do need assistance in delivering it, I can think of Two ways. Three. Three ways. If you need assistance with that. Yeah, I didn't really think that far yet, I'll be honest. Well, once you are at that point, let me know and I can tell you those three things. All right, now things are getting awkward. That's what I'm good for. Mm, you could no, it's definitely me. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> survey the perimeter. <laughs> and you see him. He's this, punch him in the shoulder. Will do or not. <laughs> and you can hear it. Doo -doo 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 on both of your guys' ends as that connection has been reapplied. Henry's messaging. You can hear him go. Hey Noctis, I have a quick question for you, mate. I know that you are not in the best of moods right now, or you want to be alone, but if you do have availability, I need your opinion on something. Well, I don't know where you are, or else I'd be saying this to your face, but I'm planning on making the earpieces for all of the extended parts of the group. Um, you know Asa better than I do. What kind of design do you think would best fit him? Oh, 
Mufasa himself? No, because I would like to ask you so that it feels more personalized. How would that make it more personalized? Because it then has you contributing to this item because I know he probably would not want to accept it if it's from me. Considering how left out he feels, I'm sure uh, he would appreciate it. But this... So you're not going to give me any indication because I know nothing about the bloke. Honestly, I... I don't know. Are you alright, mate? I know you wouldn't be left alone and such, but... You sound... Real sad. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not okay. Why do you think I wanted to be left alone? Okay, I will leave you alone then, sorry. No, you don't have to be sorry. I almost feel like I do though, mate. I didn't mean to bug you while you're trying to be, you know, in your feelings. No, it's, it's fine. I just really can't think of anything. All right. Also, I had little bits and pieces of your conversation with uh, Chang. Didn't wasn't really meaning to eavesdrop, but you know, little man has pipes on him. Um, I know you said you're not doing well. And I know that everything's kind of going crazy on our eyes. And our end and everything. But I just want to put it out there that if you do and when you wish to speak, I'm here if you'd like to, because I feel like I can identify with you in certain aspects. Just leaving an open door for you. Thank you. Means a lot. Yeah. Just chime me if you need anything. Will do. Can't think of anything. Maybe a moon. Where's your piece? Oh, thank God, because I had no idea whatsoever. I was honestly thinking, like, a raccoon or something. I was not... I was... At one point, I was thinking a bat, but then I was like, no, that's you. A raccoon? <laughs> a raccoon! It, it's, it's a creature I saw in... Glory Grove. Do I know what a raccoon is? Oh yeah, raccoons are in fucking hollow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a raccoon? Yeah, no, they're like little trash demons. They're like little bandits. And he's like a super stealthy monk. So he's kind of like a bandit. Right? I try not to laugh. <laughs> um, I, I think you're more fitting of that. Don't you think? Ah, oh, trash. Maybe more so a trash can, but that's a different 
idea. The, the, the bandit part. Oh. No. Oz is an assassin. Is he really? Oh, like, I no, I honestly don't know much about the the bloke. We don't really talk ever. Yeah, no, no. He just he's yeah. he's not very chatty. No, he's not. He can be. Once he gets to know you. Mm, he's one of those ones that have to warm up to you, neck warm up to you, right? Like get used to your presence. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so I'm gonna have to at least make an attempt. We'll see how that goes. Good luck. Uh, I think I will need it. He kind of like pauses to see if like he's gonna say anything else or if he's gonna initiate a conversation. Once he doesn't, he's gonna continue on his routine around the area. Um, for Noctis, do you go to sleep at any point? Yeah. Okay. Um, First, <laughs> he got to get that rest in. Yeah, I was like, he better get rest in. He needs to get his spells. Um, okay, cool. So, kind of goes quiet. And then, Phoenix, were you able to come up with any ideas for your letter? Legitimately, every single time he comes around, Venerys going, how's it going? Needing to help. <laughs> How many times did he go around? He takes his time while he's going around. So he's like doing very, very large loops. So it takes him about a half hour each time because he's doing the full perimeter as you're supposed to. <laughs> so like he's taking his time going around, but every time he comes back around, he always does a, how's it going? Do you need any help? One page or two so far. <laughs> Remember, short like sentences. It just has, the first time it comes around, it literally just has her name. Yeah. Written and, and nothing else. Mm -hmm. He goes, beautiful script. Absolutely gorgeous. Keep going. Good job. <laughs> it just keeps fucking going around. And he's like, it's genuinely coming from a place of, like, good-hearted, but as he keeps doing it, you know that he's doing it more so just to be like, Ha ha! I'm here! <laughs> and then keeps going. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, so. that's fair. So, um, by the almost, like third hour that he comes around going into the fourth hour you see that he now has like a small bundle of wood that he is now creating like a fire pile for before making a small fire and then you can see that he's like looking around and he just goes fuck I don't know how to cook <laughs> And you see, he's just kind of, like, starts gathering, like, what he thinks are probably possibly, like, good food, like, berries and, like, stuff that he's just, like, putting in a pile off to the side. Like, I think that's a coconut. That's definitely bananas. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that may be edible. Um... <laughs> And so he's just a small pile of, like, weird things off to the side that he's gathered. Um, but he does go off and he does come back with some 
larger birds that he was able to acquire and has them kind of off to the side and uh, ready to be cooked. Think of it like he was able to get like I don't know what kind of birds would be. In my mind, I said seagulls, but I was like, that makes no sense. They're in the desert. Um, a pheasant. Yeah, like a like a desert pheasant. I don't know. Was able to find like a pheasant. <laughs> See, the first thing that popped into my brain was a vulture. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he has that off to the side and he goes, that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to lead the rest that to the ones that can cook because that is not me um and he's kind of like doing it close to where you're at <laughs> because you are starting to feel that change um in the weather around you as it starts to get darker and whatnot so you're like oh okay so it's starting to get nighttime And so you start. I think whether she would like um, when he brings over the birds, like attempt to like defeather them or like mm -hmm. cut them into like you know yeah pieces, right? Because she has her daggers. Yeah, yeah. So he has he has like a little a little fire that is burning now over to where he's at. So you can start feeling that drop in temperature. You're starting to feel that warmth of the fire that he has created. Um, but everyone else who has not been drugged <laughs> starts to slowly wake up, um, feeling the chill of the night sky. Um, key and... Chang. <laughs> I would like you to roll a d4, please. Also four. Okay, you guys are going to be fucking hard to wake up, but you guys are going to be so well rested. <laughs> but that is where we will leave tonight. As the rest of your journey is soon to arise. And feelings will soon draw some of you closer. Until next time. Yay!